Hello everybody and welcome to another money making guide. Today I'm going to be showing you a really good one. I made about 2.2 mil in an hour of doing this method. It's really easy too. Uh, not any risk involved, you're not going to the wilderness, you're not risking any on a flip. It's really safe and uh, extremely high profit margins you can get on it. Uh, you will need a good amount of starting cash and one quest completed but beyond that uh, no other requirements and uh, yeah let's jump into it. Okay so what you are going to need is the Dwarf Cannon quest complete. Uh, it's a really quick one to do, it has some minor requirements, uh, but the biggest thing you'll need for this is money. Now you can do this with as little as one mil, but I would recommend 10, and then anything, I would bring as much as you can though. Because uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be buying cannon sets uh, from the dwarf that sells them, and then we're gonna resell them on the Grand Exchange. Um, it has very good margins on it, sometimes up to 25k, but more realistically, we probably 10 to 15. And uh, yeah, so this is how you do it. We have 70 mil exactly, and uh, we'll do this for an hour and see how much we actually get. 70 mil. And uh, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to get a combat bracelet and then teleport to the monastery. From here, you're just going to run south a bit, and um, we'll get the map open here. And it's just going to be down this dwarven mine area. Uh, it's pretty close, and uh, you don't actually need any skill requirements to use the teleports, which is kind of nice. You'll also want a uh, ring of wealth, most likely, so you can teleport back to the Grand Exchange. So once we're here, we're just going to trade uh, this dude. You don't want to get into this screen, because you're not going to want to buy the individual pieces. You're just going to want to talk to him, uh, spam the spacebar, go through the chat options, and then you're going to want to say, I want. I was hoping you might sell me a cannon. Keep going, keep going. How much? That's not very cheap, but you'll take it anyway. And then he's going to toss uh, all the cannon pieces as well as uh, the ammo molds, which you'll just drop. And then you're just going to repeat this until you have a full inventory. Um, now, you don't actually need to um, drop them or anything. You can just keep getting as many as you want. Alright, so we have a full inventory now. Uh, it only took about a minute and a half to actually go through the chat options. From here, you're just going to teleport back to the Grand Exchange. Now, I'm pretty sure if you have a cannon in your bank like all the pieces he won't sell you another one so what you want to make sure you do is when you come back here uh, you're gonna to want to go to sets and then just click on the cannon set it'll pack them all into sets for you and then you might as well just sell them right now because they they sell pretty quickly but I mean they, they do take time to sell um, so we'll just go price check one now cannon dwarf cannon set so we bought them for 750 and it looks like we can sell them for 760 so it's only 10k right now um, but I have in the past pretty easily gotten up to, let's see here, 763. Um, so we'll pop them in here for a bit higher since we're going to be doing this for an hour. And we'll see if they sell for this medium price here. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this for an hour. And uh, we'll probably stop in once we run out of the money and see how much we actually make. Alright, so I clearly underestimated how long this is going to take to do. Or overestimated, I guess. Um, I thought the 70 mil would be almost enough to do this for an hour, but it has been... 32 minutes and I'm just finishing up uh, the rest of my money here. We just have two more cannon sets to buy. So I think I'm just going to take it, just finish now and then just times whatever it is by two because while uh, my cannons definitely are selling in the Grand Exchange, I probably only sold 20 or 30 of them so far. Uh, so I don't quite have enough to do another half an hour of this, but you get the idea. So we'll just buy this last cannon here. And uh, yeah, we're good to go. Um, I think the reason is because last time I did this, I didn't use the monastery teleport, which actually is eh, its actually a decent amount closer, right here as opposed to there. Uh, so we'll go ahead, pop these in, and we can have a quick look at, oh my god, I forgot that. All right, so we'll pop these two in two sets, and then we can have a look at my grand exchange. Uh, so you can see we've sold probably uh, 10 of them at a 13k margin and another seven so far at a um, 12k margin, so not bad. And uh, we'll pop the last two in here for uh, about a 12k margin. And uh, we'll wait for these to sell. Now, when you're kind of dumping this many in at once, um, the price can go down a bit. So you definitely have to wait. Uh, but the profits definitely are going to pay off. So we're going to stop it now. Half an hour done. And we'll come back when uh, these have sold. So we did manage to sell all the cannon uh, sets. Now, it took probably just over an hour. So actually not too long. Uh, we sold... The majority of them for a 12k profit but we did sell about 10 of them for a 13k profit um, so you can see if uh, say that the margin was up to 20k and 25k you're you're looking at quite a lot like a couple million profit in an hour uh, but let's see how much we managed to make in half an hour uh, so we'll claim all the money here I might as well just hit the collect button 
And uh, we're up to 71 mil, so let's have a price check of how much we made in half an hour. We made 1.1 mil. So that means that if we had had 140 mil to start with, um, we could have actually made over 2 mil in profit in an hour. Um, the thing I really like about this method is there's, you're consistently able to buy this item. The only thing you have to worry about is the sell price, and the sell price you're never actually going to lose money on. So it's actually going to be pretty safe all the time. Um, the only thing you want to worry about is if it's just kind of a waste of time. But uh, if we open up GE Tracker, you can see here that except for that very specific occurrence when raids are released, um, they're almost always a 8 to 10k profit and sometimes even more. If we go back even further, you can see it, it never drops down below 750. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.